last horse racing track in Michigan is headed toward the finish line tonight. Northville Downs is set to be sold to make way for luxury homes. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is there live tonight. Brian, the owner says the track will stay open though for now. Yeah, that's the deal here is uh, still in the process of approval to buy this 50 acres of land here at Northville Downs and what they'll turn it into is up to 400 500 apartment homes as well as townhouses and single dwelling homes. But until all of that happens, it's business as usual for now and business has been booming ever since a another race park closed. Northville Downs, the last horse race track standing in Michigan, will be hoofing it somewhere else. But here you got million dollar homes, so this is prime real estate. Hunter Pasture Homes thinks so too, announcing its plans to purchase the sprawling property, including the track, where the owners say traffic is up roughly 40% following the sudden shutter of Hazel Park. We built up a, a little bit more uh, people you know that uh, made that change happen and our lines to get our tickets for our races have seemed to grow on. The staples set to start in 1944. Some say the sight of sure-footed thoroughbreds and their jockeys here has diminished. Like when I came up you know your father would take you to the racetrack and, 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 and introduce you to horse racing but now that they don't have a whole lot of live racing don't nobody bring their kids out to the racetrack. But the weekend live racing and weekday betting isn't winding down anytime soon. Northville Downs saying it'll stay open until the multi-million dollar development starts. Welcome news for those running out of horse racing options in Michigan. The only place you can go then is to go to, go to Cleveland. You got to go all the way over to Tissel Downs to Northfield Park to, to bet horses because you got no place else to bet. So that's a two and a half hour drive. And management here says there is some silver lining. A, they stay open through 2020. They're also looking at other locations within a 30 mile radius of here, and they hope that one of those locations, whatever one they choose, will be up and ready so that they have a brand new facility to move into when operations end here in 2020. Reporting live in Northville, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you.